we're going to bring you a really powerful and eye-opening report that might challenge everything you think you know about prostitution. The suspects target girls who post comments about a negative home life on social media sites. Take you inside the dark world of trafficking. The sex industry in Holland is a legal, nearly billion-dollar business. I immediately got punished for trying to leave. Each year, here at Olympian High School, the senior class chooses a topic to focus on for the common senior experience. This year's topic was human trafficking. The book that we were assigned to read was a powerful memoir, Girls Like Us, by Rachel Lloyd. This book voices Lloyd's story as a survivor and her hard-won escape from the commercial sex industry. Human trafficking is modern-day slavery and involves the use of force, fraud, or coercion to obtain some type of labor or commercial sex act. The average age a teen enters the sex trade in the United States is 12 to 14 years old. Many victims are runaway girls who were sexually abused as children. When I was 14, my whole life changed. My daughter Hope was kidnapped by sex traffickers. Hope was forced into prostitution. It all started because I posted on a social media site that I hated my mother. A woman messaged me back telling me that I'd go stay with her and we'd go partying. She showed up within the next 45 minutes and I was gone. Over the course of the semester, we raised awareness to the means of two projects. Our first project being a fundraiser hosted at New Year where we raised $32.56, which went to the Alabaster Jar Project, a group that empowers survivors of human trafficking in San Diego. For our second project, we chose to interview a former social worker, Mr. Diaz. Yeah, as you all know, as I told you, I used to be a, a social worker with Child Protective Services. Have you personally had the experience of working with people in the commercial sex industry? I did have several cases where um, some of our victims were uh, trafficked, uh, commercially trafficked uh, and sexually exploited. Uh, and unfortunately, it was done with the, uh, with the, in some cases, with the consent and with the cooperation of their legal caretakers, their parents. To conclude, the outcome of this project has impacted me by allowing to be more aware and knowledgeable of human trafficking globally and in our city of San Diego. At the end of the day, I had a really great time bonding with my group and being able to help fund for the Alabaster Project to empower survivors of human trafficking in our city and being able to learn from Mr. Diaz about his past experiences with working as a social worker. Throughout the semester, our focus on human trafficking has personally impacted me in many ways. It made me more aware of this global issue that occurs even in my own city of San Diego. This project allowed me to come together with a group of people to raise awareness on a topic that none of us thought mattered to us. Also, this project made me be more aware of my surroundings because now I know that anyone can end up in the commercial sex industry. After completing this year's senior project on the issue of human trafficking, it made me become more aware of this issue. Throughout the project, I learned that everyone can be a part of the solution to stop human trafficking. There are so many ways to get involved, the options are limitless. At the end of the day, this project has impacted me as well as my other group members by raising more awareness on this issue. After finishing our common senior experience project of human trafficking, I have come to a realization of how human trafficking is happening around my city, San Diego, and globally all around the world. The CSC project has made me open my eyes and see how this issue is becoming a global problem with thousands of people being trafficked every day. We form groups of four to help spread awareness to others. In my group called LOVE, which stands for Lives of Victims Empowered, we spread awareness by forming a fundraiser at New Year's and interviewing a teacher who was a social worker for 15 years, asking him questions based on human trafficking. The outcome for our overall project was that we helped raise awareness by hosting a fundraiser at Nuyo. The flyers had a short description of our topic and on the back it had our social media where people can find more information on the topic. We also got an insight on someone who directly worked with victims for 15 years. As a group, we ourselves became more knowledgeable on the topic through these two projects. <laughs>